Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Every time I make any video that's critical of anything Kabam, I have received the same nickname over and over again that is now what I call myself. I am officially Mr. Negative. And so I guess I should say Mr. Negative's back to talk about something in the game that I think is kind of BS. Now, I wasn't going to make this video at first because I thought it was just me. I thought I just sucked against this guy and needed to get good and just get used to getting wrecked and all the other things that I've heard from people. And I still know that there are going to be commenters on this very video who say, Oh, here he goes again. Just quit the game if you don't like it. I like most of the things in the game. I like way more things than I dislike. If that wasn't the case, I wouldn't be playing. But sometimes... Sometimes. Kabam introduces something that I just think, that's kind of shady. We had event quest completion this weekend, and I completed enough to get the 25 free units, which was my goal. And I thought I was going to complete Cavalier all the way through, which is usually what I do when uh, I have a chance. But I got in the Silver Surfer chapter, who I know some of you have told me you don't like either. But I got, you know, I, I took the Red Hulk path, which by the way, this is the cosmic path where you have a chance to have a unique buff to gain a vigilance buff, preventing attackers from missing for five seconds if the attacker has a true strike, true sense of true accuracy buff, blah, blah, blah. Each time the defender's miss effect is prevented, cosmic attackers gain indefinite fury passive. Personally, this is one of the worst. Like, I just find it kind of like, eh, meh. I don't get excited to use this. I'd much rather do like stacking furies so I can use Hyperion or maybe doing like armor breaks so I can use cold obsidian but whatever I brought in like uh by the way I did the Icarus Circe um I was using energy to do some of their objectives which is why I have two three stars I did not bring them into this but uh yeah so I um I got past Red Hulk got past Havoc and then got to Terax You'll notice a few things about this fight that are kind of dumb. The first is that unlike, say, the Havoc fight before it, you don't have the cosmic counters. You're bringing in counters to fight the defenders in this path. Part of the reason why I like Cavalier event quests traditionally is that until the boss... You can clear the lane if you've ranked up the right champions. And it's sort of like Kabam saying, hey, we're going to motivate you to spend the money on rank up resources and to clear content in order to put signature stones and catalysts, etc. into those champions. And then we're going to reward you by bringing them in. I don't use Hyperion much anymore, even though I love him, except in the months where he's a really good Cavalier event quest counter. Well, that's great for Havoc, but Terax doesn't let you do that. And in addition to this, most of the people that I bring in, like Venom uh, and even um, like Cosmic Ghost Rider, I bring, they're just not great for this fight. And the whole Terax gains an additional attack charge whenever he would gain one. Each time Terax gains one attack charge, he gains an indestructible buff, ignoring all incoming damage for four seconds, giving him galactic intervention. On top of taking away the cosmic advantages that you've given to all the other fights... On top of uh, his usual BS, which of course does not want you, like you, you do not want to hit him at the beginning of the fight when he's got power up. And look, I know that there are people to counter this. I know that I still have PTSD from the Terax fight in the Gauntlet, of which I had to quake him and used a lot of revives. I used more revives against Terax than I did anybody else. And I can bring in Quake and do that again against this guy. But the president that this pattern continues to set, where we're going to put a mini boss in the way that doesn't have, and I call him a mini boss because even though the PI is similar, he doesn't have the ability to give you the uh, bonuses for, in this case, the cosmic champions that you would normally bring in. You go through the mini boss, then you got to go back to the old cosmic counters as if nothing happened, and then of course, eventually. You get to this boss, who uh, many of you have told me is maybe your most annoyed boss of the whole month. Uh, I just, I, 
I sat I sat there and I thought, not this month. It's just not worth it to me. So I just decided to 100% explore the first two chapters to get my event quest points. And then I went ahead and said, I'm good. Now, maybe you are going to view this as me just whining. Me just being Mr. Negative. But I think it is a bad precedent to set to have there be mini bosses now and they're becoming more popular i think about cosmic ghost rider in a different chapter too that go against the spirit of how cavalier event quest was designed which was to take a class and bring in the champions of that class in order to gain special advantages and then on top of that you're making him even more indestructible than usual causing uh issues which by the way <laughs> speaking of which the game is still broken, right? The game is still broken. Uh, it's still crashing from crystal openings to weird bugs that are timing out. Kabamman told us in September, don't worry. Between the October and the November patches, the game will be back to normal. I'm missing more parries than ever before. In fact, I did incursions Sunday night with Katie Candy, my Battle Realm bestie. And I, I just got to let you know, there were three times that I hit the parry button, and it didn't even say parry this time. I just got wrecked. And then Katie did the same thing. And you can say, well, you guys are just making that up. But when something happens to the same people and it's the same something over and over again, eventually it's, it's just statistically a significant sample size to be able to say, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's not user error. I think, I think that's just an issue. And don't get me wrong. A lot of me failing against this Terax is poor strategy or gameplay or whatever but i just think it's a dumb fight for what the expectation is now because kabam is going to then say hey we're going to do this every month we're going to put in mini bosses that don't give you the advantages of the cosmic uh champions that you bring in and if you don't have someone like a quake and you're not good with her or somebody like a black widow clairvoyant you're probably going to use revives so this is a way for kabam to make more money off of the Cavalier event quest, but with changing the spirit of the quest without buffing the rewards, it's just dumb and annoying. And look, you can call me Mr. Negative, you can call me whatever, uh, but I've asked several people and they feel very similarly. And so they empowered me, Katie Candy included, thank you Katie, to say, yeah, it's worth the video because it's, it's just annoying and it's dumb. And it takes away from what I love about the Cavalier Event Quest, which is that every fight traditionally until the final boss is that specific class, in this case, Cosmic, and gives you the motivation and the real advantage of taking five stars to rank five or six stars to rank two, rank three, rank four even now, and bringing them in. So maybe, I mean, I know there are people who just even don't even watch the video and just see the title and be like, ah, oh, this, this dumb guy. But hopefully... Some of you out there will feel like this video is speaking for you. Because as always, I try to speak more for the average player, quote-unquote, than the best of the best. And so that's why I made this video. And kabam, I would ask, not that I have any power on this whatsoever, that you refrain going forward from BS mini-boss fights. If this was a main boss fight, sure, he's a main boss, get wrecked. But mini-boss fights where he's breaking up, so he's like the halftime entertainment between Path 1 and Path 2 in which you'll probably lose at least a couple of your fighters, and then you'll have to be in a tough position once you get past him. And it's kind of genius, because you don't want to fight him again, so you're like, I might as well use some revives, because I made it uh, to Red Skull over here, and uh, or Nebula in this case, and I don't want to I don't want to have to start over. But man, it's just, it's just annoying. Okay, this video is not getting to 10 minutes. You know how I roll on this channel. Screw you, triple ads. Uh, I don't care if the algorithm doesn't promote it if it's under 10 minutes. When you have a YouTube channel for fun, sometimes you put the FU in fun, and that Terax fight definitely does that.